Alright, this is going to be my third Tileo Pro walkthrough, or tutorial, <laughs> not really walkthrough, but um, this time I'm going to go over enemies and what you can do with them and how you edit them correctly. Uh, I'm going to use the same ROM I got done doing the other one, so it'll look familiar. I think our tiles still over there. Yep, there's our tiles. <laughs> but now, enemies are very simple. Most of them, actually, I think all of them, except for some of the bosses, are located into the actual ROM. So you don't have to go and do any compressed graphics stuff. You just got to search through the actual ROM and you'll find it. Um, the first thing you want to do is just find an enemy that you want to edit. You could edit the ship, that's an enemy, um, but you could start with something smaller. So you could kind of just go through species and kind of look for something that you want to change. And you kind of got to keep in mind if you want to make an enemy that looks like a thing that crawls on the ground, you're going to have to use something that crawls on the ground, like a zoomer or something. Or if you want something that flies sporadically, you want, like, I don't know, something like this or, you know, one of these. Just something that does what you want it to do because you're not going to be able to change how it uses those animations and how it moves your new enemy around without ASM work, which I don't know how to do. And um, I only know a few people that could probably actually do anything like that. So let's find something simple. I don't know. And you could take like just take one of the zoomers. First thing you're gonna want to do is go over here in the DNA and find its palette so you can see what it's actually gonna look like. Edit it and export it. And it'll save it as normally the species at DCFF.tpl. Okay. Now we're done with that. Come over here, go back to our TLP and open up our ROM. Hmm. Then go ahead and load our palette. It's this one right here. Yeah. All right. Now the fun begins, and you just gotta search through and find it. Now most of the time their tiles are kind of close together, so you can normally tell whenever you see it. So just go over here, and the enemies are normally always in the same spot. Like I think these are same as animations, and then the, above that was the power-ups. Down here, like right about here, is it? Yeah, I think this is where the enemy starts. You can see some, like right here, Spore Spawn, you can tell. Even with the wrong palette, a lot of times you can find it. So now you just kind of got to scan, like right there's those bugs that nobody ever uses. That looks like the top of the thing that runs fast. It shows you how to use the Shine Spark. And these are the flames for Fantoon. These little sticky guys jump in the air people that bounce around. <laughs> I don't know any of the names of these people. But the trick is finding the one we want. Yeah, like right here is the ship tiles. And then space pirate tiles. And these look like crocomire tiles. I think you can pretty much edit any enemy. Yeah, there it looks like right here. Possibly. Yeah, here we go, right here. Okay. Now, we finally found parts of him. Like I said, most of the time they're right next to each other for the most part. But now the fun begins. You have to kind of piece them together so you can see what he does. And at times it's easier to go into a room that has those particular guys. Oops. And you can go into game and try not to do that because it messes up my voice kind of a lot. <laughs> but it like makes it fall behind the video. But you just kind of look at them so you can get an idea of what they look like. Most of the time you can do it by yourself. So we know that these four pieces right here are the top. So you're going to want to drag those over. Remember to transfer to the arranger so the palette's the same. And then you gotta find the bottom, which I don't know. Could be like these pieces, maybe. No. I think I know what it would look like, but. I 
can't tell if that's what it would be or not. Oh, well, I see the blue that says, like, legs. Those are really pointed out. Hmm. I'd have to just go in. Oh, here, let's do this. So now we can see that it takes the. See, this is why I was getting confused. It takes those tiles that we put together, but it also takes those blue tiles and puts it over top the zoomer as its feet moving around. Now, the problem with that is that they don't just connect all nice together like some of the enemies do and they're all one piece, but it's actually that enemy and then some pieces laying over top the enemy which is no problem but now you see you have to kinda of slow it down and watch it so you understand how it moves its uh... its animations how they all work because you can't change that at all so in this case you're gonna to want to create something kinda of similar maybe maybe like a worm or something or another bug that just looks different or you could just change the palette or whatever so now you go down go back to TLP. So now we have these and then these are his feet that are these, you know, they're all different instances. This is probably bottom feet, the side, and the top because I think it switches them out because the zoomer probably has different tiles for whichever direction he's walking, top, left, or right. So this is probably one of the harder enemies to edit because if you take something, uh, I don't know, that just stays by itself like these guys right here which are these little bugs that just fly around you have these things and then the tops right here that just flap up and down so you have one two three or one two three four different animations and then you could just create a bug that does about the same thing or you could even create like a moving platform or something that just flies around whatever you want to do so I'm not going to go into editing an enemy because that kind of takes a while to make anything that looks right and to get the animations right. But whenever you want to, you just find it, edit it the way you want, just like you did before. Save it. Um, you can change the palette because it's only going to change most likely for one enemy, but some enemies do use the same palette, so you gotta got to be careful. But you could change this palette to whatever you want it to look like, make your enemy look however you do, or however looks good to you. Then you're going to have to come back save it to the ROM, the enemy will be saved, but you'll have to re-import, go to species, and go to palette pointer, edit, import palette, so his palette will actually change, otherwise the palette won't change, and it'll stay the same. Um, I think that's pretty much it after going through the enemies. Um, they said about all of them are editable, all the PLMs you can pretty much edit like I did back before, you know how to edit your tile scenery, or your sceneries now. Uh, let me see if there's anything else. The graphics editor, because this will probably be my last tile layer pro tutorial, because this is as far as I've gotten, unless something else or somebody gives me a new idea or needs help with something else. Um, yeah, remember the CRE files, just these tiles up to here, your sceneries below, and your enemies are all fully editable. Uh, the hard part is just watching those animations. If you were to change Crate or Ridley or a boss or something, you have to change it for each one of those animations most likely because a lot of times, sometimes they do move the tiles for you for the animation, but sometimes they use completely new pictures of, say, the hand or the claw, whatever. Instead of just moving that first picture of the claw up or down when he's moving his arm up and down, it's three different pictures, so you have to change all three. Otherwise, It'll look good while he's standing still, but once he starts moving, he'll flash back and forth between the original picture and then the uh, one you drew. But otherwise, um, that's about it for Tile Layer Pro. Once you've got that done, you've got the basics of being able to create a completely new game and change all the different tiles that are uh, out there to anything you want. Um, I think that's it. So hopefully you got something out of this. It was kind of disorganized, but... I normally don't go over these as like a rehearsal or anything. I just sit down and do it. But uh, thanks for watching. Thanks.